It's 843 now this morning. Duval, St. John's and Flagler County beaches are all open with limited hours. But just so you know, you can't just go and lounge around. Officials are stressing that you must maintain social distancing and you can't be in a group of larger than 10. You also have to be engaged in essential activities, including walking, running, swimming, or biking. Namaya Rutledge, the owner of Body Paradox, is here to talk more about beach workouts. Namaya, good morning. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you so much, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the <laughs> weather is going to be beautiful today, tomorrow, and really, according to meteorologist Danielle Juliano, I think she has the best seven-day forecast in store. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. A great opportunity for people to get out and start working out. That's right. Yeah. So um, some things that you can do like when you're um, going outside um, just some safe activities like you can do high knees, butt kicks, um, shuffles or anything, plank walks, anything of the sort that, um, to help you get started. Yeah. I know you're taught you mentioned here grapevines. I'm really not familiar with it. And I know you're restricted to your your little spot out there. <laughs> but what is what is grapevine? Grapevines. So, so going. So it's like it's like pulling. It's, it's a pulling motion. So think of you doing like a, uh, basically like a high knee and then you're grabbing. Awesome. Yeah. What are the benefits of walking on a beach, the shore where there's a lot of sand versus that of walking on concrete, concrete or a, a path of some sort? Well, see, it's the study, it's the study that was shown that uh, you activate a additional muscles when you're um, treading through the sand versus the pavement. So uh, you can, you're not exerting as well. You uh, you're constantly shifting, so the nervous system has to recruit additional muscles, muscle fibers in your uh, legs, hips, and core. Also, with the soft surface, you absorb uh, more energy, so instead of experiencing a helpful rebound um, effect that you would on the pavement, uh, you'll sink deeper, and your muscles have to engage longer to push off so you're forced to work harder to move uh, so and here's one thing a study has found that you burn 50 percent more calories per minute in the sand rather than you would oh, wow. on the pavement yeah so and another fun fact is uh working on the sand you have less stress on your joints so therefore that means it's less pain and soreness after you exercise. Yeah, that impact is not as intense on yeah. joints like your knees. Now, if you look at, here's somebody working out right now on the beach, it looks like he's doing some. He's doing uh, some lunges and some, he's actually doing some dips right now. Yeah. All right, yeah. For the arms, oh, now he's gonna do some push-ups. Look at that, he yeah. is getting it right <laughs> this morning. Get and it right, that, get it tight, right? See, you know what, that's hip training. That's hip training, yes. Yeah. So also, if you, make that exercise on the beach more intense by picking up the levels from walking to running, it's going to be that much more beneficial for your body than if you were on a path because of the things you just mentioned. Yes, exactly. Um, yes, like I said before, like running through the sand, um, you're forced to work harder. So therefore, it's um, like once you dig your feet into that sand, now you have to push off. Yeah, just like I said earlier. So, and then also doing interval sprints, mm -hmm. you'll exert so much energy. And actually, I plan on doing that today after this. So, um. <laughs> on the beach? Yes. On the beach. And there you are. I think you're being chased by a dog there, That's right? my dog, actually. Aww. That's Pepper. <laughs> and, you know, that's the beautiful thing about this. I know a lot of people are probably getting cabin fever at this point. And if you don't have access to the beach within those given hours, you can kind of tailor these exercises to do them in your own backyard. Yes, you can. Yeah. Any other advice before we let you go? Oh, yeah. So, um, so some more advice, like while everyone is quarantining and they're isolated, some things that you can do at home, like if you have a significant other or just another individual in the house, it's good that you all can work out together and continue to keep each other motivated. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Another thing is now, since we are isolated, you can look into virtual coaching so that some so that your trainer or coach can keep you held accountable and help you get back 
on track with your regular workout routine. And at Body Paradox, we do have our um, Body Paradox app and our trainers, we do um, keep everyone motivated. We um, make sure that they stay on track with their um, diet and, well, their nutrition and just their overall health. And, um, and also, I do have my book that I mentioned before. It's called Just Tell Me What To Do. It's a 60-day weight loss program with everything that you can possibly need on there. And just for other addition, and it's on Amazon for on sale, what, for $5.99? And lastly, you can just go on the Body Paradox website too for some free advice. And also we do free Florida, uh, Florida, Florida Blue has sponsored, a, has sponsored class, free yoga classes every Thursday morning at 11 a.m. Namaya, thank you so much. Thank you so for much. Us this morning. For more information on beaches and working out in Northeast Florida, go to our website, newsforjax.com. We're back right after this.